Salon published an article this week about libertarianism's seven strangest ideas. Here's the least strange libertarian idea you'll ever hear. In fact, it's the bedrock principle of our philosophy. We all learned it in kindergarten. We all know it in our hearts. It's not complicated. It doesn't require years of advanced study. The idea is this. Don't ever use physical violence against other people or their stuff except in immediate defense of life, limb, and property. And then only use enough violence to stop the aggressor, but no more. Non-aggression. We should act peacefully and in harmony with our fellow men and women. This is the most basic, central, and revered idea in the libertarian universe. But no mainstream media talking head makes mention of it. It's too sane, too nice, too civilized and reasonable. Libertarians are for nonviolence. We're for using reason, love, persuasion, mediation, mutual aid, charity, exchange, and other consensual means when interacting with other human beings. Human beings that we recognize as enjoying inherently equal human rights as ourselves. That's right. Libertarians are for equal rights to life, liberty, and property, no matter your gender, race, creed, hairstyle, or whatever. Now there's a crazy idea that some people don't get. As an extension of our ex esteemed non-aggression principle, libertarians also have mean things to say about fraud, deception, lying, and cheating. Yes, libertarians are for honesty. Strange. I know. Libertarians apply the non-aggression principle without mercy to every aspect of our lives. We think that only voluntary relationships, where all parties freely consent, are legitimate. So we're against truly strange ideas like taxation, special government privileges for corporations, child abuse, state driver's licenses, central banking, compulsory schooling, the war on some drugs, the prison industrial complex, militarized police, and the war on terror. Libertarianism is a philosophy of peace. But don't think we're pacifists either. We have a deep respect for the right to self-defense. When someone uses aggression, that's the unprovoked and first use of violence, to get what they want from us, we're very comfortable with using defensive violence to protect our lives, liberty, and hard-earned property. If that includes shooting a government cop who's invading our home, then so be it. In other words, libertarians don't start fights. But if you start the fight with us, we're going to end it. And only to stop you. Yeah, vengeance and vigilante justice are simply unacceptable. We prefer to mediate and arbitrate our disputes. The libertarian non-aggression principle may not be the final word in ethics, but it's a damned good start. Apply it in your life today. There are definitely some libertarians out there with crazy ideas. Progressives, conservatives, and, and independents, too. In fact, there's this guy called Barack, who thinks it's okay to eavesdrop on your private communications without probable cause. Now, that's strange. And it's not just an idea. He's actually doing it. Ask me a question, subscribe, and support the show at morelibertynow.com slash raw. My name is George Donnelly. Liberty is your birthright. Live it and defend it.